So, this may be seen as unnecessary for both perspectives, which I think balances it all out, you know, equally balanced as all things should be. It's been a while since you've heard that, eh? Probably. But today we are talking about the Edmonton Oilers as well as the Detroit Red Wings, because there was an idea tossed around in an article that I thought was interesting enough to bring up, and it's one that kind of links these two teams together in a way that we have already seen before. Now, full disclaimer, both of these teams, the Oil and the Wings, have been getting a lot better recently. They've been stringing together wins, their top guys are starting to produce like top guys, you've got players like Connor McDavid pulling their weight and being the superstar players we know they could be, we've got guys like Shane Goss to spare, contributing to every single goal in some games. These teams have been slowly on the up and up after experiencing some turmoil to start out the year. But there's a player that is in the spotlight today because of an article published earlier this week, yesterday actually, on NHLTradeTalk.com. Take a look at what this piece goes out there and says. Might the Oilers look at bringing back a former energy forward? The Oilers might be looking to add an energy forward via trade. Might a former player be available after issues with his new team? Take a look at the first paragraph in this article. By the way, link is going to be in the description if you want to go ahead and read this. There is some chatter coming out of Detroit that forward Klim Kostan got himself in a bit of hot water with the team recently. It's not clear if he violated the team rule or was late for something, but head coach Derek Lalonde mentioned it subtly in a recent interview. He wouldn't provide further details and it may be nothing, but the Edmonton Oilers might want to be paying attention. Could a Klim Kostan trade back to Edmonton be an option? Now I get it, this article is coming out of nowhere, but NHLTradeTalk.com has provided some pretty good content as of late, and this idea certainly is one that I thought was intriguing enough to make a video about. Klim Kostan is 24 years old, big dude, 6'4", 212, left-handed winger, signed till the end of 2025, making $2 million a year. Last year, with the Edmonton Oilers, Kostan had 21 points in 57 games played. He was seen as somewhat of a fan favorite with the Oil. He had himself a really interesting profile and a sort of dynamism that was kind of unmatched throughout the rest of the lineup. He was just a likable hockey player. Likable guy, too. So when the Oilers ended up sending him away with Yamamoto to the Detroit Red Wings, there was some backlash, admittedly, when that transaction was made. Now sure, there were some salary cap implications, there were reasons behind the move, but for the most part, Kostan was a guy who had a pretty okay season, all things considered, and who definitely had his fair share of the spotlight. Now, in Detroit, Kostan hasn't been played in the best spot. He's been more so of a middle-to-bottom six guy. He's got two points in 16 games played on pace for around 10 points, which would be a pretty bad season, statistically speaking, and a big decline from what he had last year. But the other night, when Derek Lalonde ended up scratching Klim Kostan, he said that the reason for the scratching was not related to Kostan's play. Now, we ended up not really getting any extra info as to why this was the case, but there is some speculation asking, okay, was it a team issue thing? Was Kostan late for something? Was there some sort of a rule that he kind of pushed or bent a little bit? What's the deal here? So, this article on NHLTradeTalk.com talks about this entire controversy. Kostan was a former winger with the Oilers, he joined them in a trade from St. Louis, and he was an immediate fan favorite. He had the ability to score, but also he was physical, had a captivating personality, and loved being part of the team. Edmonton wanted to keep him this summer, but his ask was more than the Oilers could afford. Considering their tight salary cap situation, his $2 million payday went to Detroit, where it looks like they're having some personal conduct issues. Here is the kicker. Kurt Levens of the Edmonton Journal went out there and wrote about this very issue. Apparently, the Oilers had similar issues last season, even though it wasn't something that went public. Levens pointed out that the former Oiler was a scratch for Detroit and explained this. Klim Kostan has been in and out of Detroit's lineup. A lot of people who think the Oilers miss Kostan's physicality and swagger and are angry he was not retained. However, this most recent time in the Detroit press box was not injury-related, but a team standards issue. Here's what I'll tell you that Kostan had similar challenges in Edmonton. So, interestingly enough, Klim Kostan, while he was a fan favorite, while he did have all of the adoration of this fan base, this was a player that had some issues in regards to, potentially, team standards, team expectations, team 
Whatever, this is not related to the way he plays the game on the ice, but more so related to what the team expects out of him. Now, whether or not they expect things differently as a player, or they expect things differently as a human being, we may never know, but for right now, Kirk Levens is insinuating that these have not been new. This was a thing for a while. The article on NHLTradeTalk.com then goes out there at the bottom and asks the question, would a Klim Costan trade make sense to return with the Oilers? They would probably love to have Costan back, and if the Red Wings were open to trading him, no doubt Holland would entertain the conversation. Even though he wasn't a regular in the lineup, he was an energy guy that the Oilers sorely miss. He could score, play in the top nine, engage, and bring his teammates into the fight. The Oilers could use some of that right now. The issue is cost, though, as the Oilers don't have the money to add him. But if the Wings were open to making a hockey trade, they certainly have the cap space, especially if Detroit is looking at Kane. Now, here is the kicker at the very end, and I wanted to save this throughout the halfway part of the video. Could a deal that would see Detroit move Costan's $2 million salary to the Oilers for someone like Adam Ernie and a late-round pick work? If Detroit retains $250,000, Edmonton might be open to it. And this is where the article goes complete off the wall bananas because it just talks about the idea of swapping two players who had played on their old teams in the past. Adam Ernie has spent some time with Bakersfield this season, but in the NHL, he's got one point in 11 games played. The year before that, 18 points in 61 games with the regular Red Wings. His best season, of course, came in 2020-2021, the shortened kind of weird division year where he had 20 points in 45 games played. Adam Ernie has himself his own skill set in his own right, and he's 28 years old and he's making a lot less money, so there certainly is some desirability there if you wanted to assess his value via a trade. The idea of sending away Ernie and a late-round pick to Detroit for Klim Costan may actually work out on paper value-wise, but the question really is whether or not you'd want to explore this type of a move, whether or not you think it's worth your time to look at. So if you are a Detroit Red Wings fan or an Edmonton Oilers fan, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about this trade idea, Klim Costan for Adam Ernie and let's say a late round pick? If you're a Red Wings fan, would you like the idea of getting Ernie back in the team? If Klim Costan is exhibiting these team standards issues, would you want to get rid of this guy? He was already a pretty interesting pickup for Detroit back in the offseason, and I said it was a pretty big win that the Oilers were able to get him and Yamamoto from the Oilers for a very good price. But now, after seeing what's going on, the Red Wings are rolling 11 forwards and 7D, Clint Costan's the odd man out. Would you want to see a trade where you're able to accrue a draft pick and also get somebody in return that you're familiar with? Adam Ernie was not the best player, of course, but he was a guy, and he was all right, and he's spending time in Bakersfield right now this season so his role with the Edmonton Oilers has been kind of up and down. If you are an Oilers fan, would you want to go complete balls to the wall, trade away Ernie, trade away a pick, and get Klim Kostan of all people back? Does your opinion of him change as a player after learning that there were team standards issues in Detroit and also team standard issues that were being broken with the Edmonton Oilers? Issues that we just did not see for the most part when he was in Oil Town tearing it up, bringing teammates into the fight, and being a fan favorite athlete. Everything changes with a few interviews, doesn't it? But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about the idea of an Ernie for cost and trade and whether or not there actually should be some extra picks thrown in there to make things work out? You could debate it because Ernie is so much cheaper than cost and there's already good value in that contract. Maybe the pick isn't even necessary. Who really knows? But... Whether or not you are an Oilers fan or a Red Wings fan, let me know your thoughts in the comments section about this kind of a trade. Article is going to be linked in the description if you want to go ahead and read it yourself. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.